We can officially unbox the Mermaids Mermaids Winter Waves dolls. I'm so excited. These looked so good from the reveal photos and they've been slowly trickling into stores. So check your Walmart stores specifically if you're looking for them and hopefully you can find them. These were sent to me for reviews. So this is the PR package that MGA sent out for the Winter Waves dolls and I'm so excited. I've had them for a few days and I finally get to open them. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my God. Hi. All right. All right. All right. Let's see what the note says. It says, hi there. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the latest amazing launch of the Winter Waves dolls and the Ocean Cruiser. Stay tuned. <laughs> Be sure to enjoy the color change feature on the fins of each doll and fill your Ocean Cruiser with water and glitter for a glamorous ride. Please be sure to tag official mermaids and hashtag mermaids mermaids when posting across all socials. Love MGA and the mermaids team. Oh my gosh. And I love this little mermaids themed note card. This is so cute. All right. We're going to set this aside and now we get to see all of our new dolls. So, oh my goodness. I wonder how many are in here. So the first doll we have is the updated Kishiko and she looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at the hair colors. Oh, I'm so excited. And we will take a closer look at all of these in the packaging, so do not worry. Oh, the photographs. They really elevated the packaging for these. And if you look, they're actually not sticking out of their packages anymore, so that's pretty cool. And then, I'm gonna set her down. We have, oh, this is one of the new characters. <gasps> Yay, so this is Nira. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, I'm so excited. The, by the way, guys, the angle I'm sitting at, I can't see the doll that's like at the bottom. So I'm really curious as to who it is. Oh my gosh. So the color change looks very intense this time. So I'm very curious about that. Wait, they come with extra accessories? <gasps> Look, she has a little backpack and like... <gasps> oh my God, she has a phone. Okay, I'm sorry. I did not realize that they came with extra stuff. I have been doing my best not to look at other people's pictures of these dolls since they have been in stores for a bit. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Wow, okay. And the last doll, I'm gonna close my eyes if I can't get her out with my eyes closed. Um, I think this is the last one, yeah. Um, so I got three this time, that's so exciting. Okay, one, two. Oh my gosh, it's another one of the new characters. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. So this is Gwen, her tail looks so cool. I'm really curious about that. Ooh. All the fur accessories. I'm such a sucker for fur. Oh, and her box art is, or her box photo is so beautiful, but it's weird that she has brown eyes here and blue eyes here. They must have just changed it at some point in the design process. Wow, Gwen is pretty. Oh, and it says, across the shimmering seas where the sand turns to glitter, the winter waves crash to reveal new friends with a fabulous sparkle. So they brought back some old characters and some, and then they added some new characters for this line. So I believe these three are new characters, and then we have Kishiko and Harmonique coming back. Okay, so that's everything that's in the PR kit. So now I'm going to set this aside and let's start the review. All right, so the first doll we're going to look at in box is Gwen. So this is what the packaging looks like. As much as I liked the uniqueness of the packaging where the tails were sticking out, I think this is probably better for the dolls in the long run and in stores and everything. I think it they'll be less prone to being damaged. You can see that the name of the character is up here. So this is Gwen, as we know. <laughs> and then I really like the box presentation and I appreciate that they still kept the like triangular shape here, even though the dolls are now more in box. I love the photograph of the doll here. Absolutely beautiful. You can tell this is the hand painted one and I just, I love it. And I can't wait to see what the actual doll looks like super up close. So cool. And then it tells you about the fact that the tails are now glitter filled and the tails do change color. If we look on the back of the box, we can see a group photo of everybody. It's so, so cute. It says Mermaids, Mermaids, Gwen. Super glamorous. Love it. And then it says Winter Waves. Across the shimmering seas where the sand turns to glitter, the winter waves crash to reveal new friends with a fabulous sparkle. And then at the top of the box, it says Winter Waves. And yeah, here's the UPC code for Gwen. Some mysterious hair from MGA headquarters right here. <laughs> and the Mermaids logo. 
We're gonna be looking at Kishiko. So same box, I'm not gonna go too in depth about it, but this is what Kishiko looks like inside. Absolutely beautiful. I love the photography of this part. And then if we look inside, there's actually blue shattered glass holographic decoration. And then the back of Kishiko's box. I just love the spotlight on the specific doll, like how beautiful the photography is. And then the group shot is also absolutely gorgeous. I really hope that I can get the two dolls that I'm missing soon. I'll have to see if I can find them in stores. Stay tuned because we'll be doing a doll hunt for when I do find them. And the last doll we're going to be looking at in box is, of course, Mira. Mira is really, really cool. I love her look and the tinsel in her hair. I'm really excited to get a look at that. And her crystal tail is way cool, too. Love it. I can't wait to see that glitter feature when they're out of the box. And then on the back, Mermaids, Mermaids, Nira or Nera. I have also refrained from watching the series since the Winter Waves characters were being shown, at least I think they are, um, because I wanted to be um, surprised by the looks of the dolls when I finally got them. Alrighty, so now I'm going to unbox them. All of the Winter Waves dolls are now out of their packaging and looking so beautiful. I'm so impressed with them, so let's get started on the review. The first character we're going to be looking at is Gwen, and I haven't really seen much love for Gwen at all online yet, which is interesting because she's so beautiful. I think her yellow hair with her skin tone looks really, really good. Her hair is super, super soft, and the styling is super cool. If we take a look at her head, we can see that the rooting is really pretty dense. It's about the same as any Rainbow High doll will be. Um, the yellow paint on the head is a bit dark, though, compared to the rest of her head, so be careful when styling if you're choosing to, but I'm going to be leaving it in this style because it has this really cool fishtail braid that falls into two twists and all these different twists going back, and they're very loose at the top, but they are all secured with rubber bands at the bottom, of course, and the ends of her hair are actually curled, which is so cute! I love it! I've always loved the makeup on the Mermaids dolls. I always think it's super well done. I love how detailed it is because Mermaids tries to have a kind of realism to the faces but still are cartoony in other ways and I think it looks super good. I love the brow shape and the fade that the eyebrows have and there's even these little black lines to simulate the creases on your real, on your eyelids. I think it's super cool, all the different wrinkles and stuff that your eyelid would have, I guess. And she's got painted on eyelashes and these applied eyelashes. And my doll, I need to say this in the interest of full disclosure, my doll did come with a pretty misplaced eye. I will attach a picture right here of what it originally looked like. And I went ahead and popped her head off and popped her eye out and put it back in. And now it's a bit better. It's still not perfect though, but that's something to look out for if you're planning to buy these in stores. Make sure you look closely. And the way to spot it is look at the whites of the eyes. This side, there's a bit of white under there and this side there is not. I believe this is the correct placement, but it doesn't matter which one's correct. Just pick out a doll that you like the look of. And these dolls have super shimmery skin, as you can see. It's a bit tricky with these super intense studio lights, but the faces are shimmery. And it's actually just like a loose glitter applied on top of the skin. I think it's quite beautiful. I hope... Her earrings are super cool. I love the way that they were sculpted. So they are silver hoops with like a little stud that goes into the ear. And there's these little chains with gems on them hanging off of the hoop, but it looks like they're just like wrapped around a little bit, not even knotted. That's so cool. Um, but the paint can come off. So as you can see, it's already come off on her ear, her ear a little bit. So I hope that they've fixed that in either future batches or just future mermaids dolls, because my favorite part of her hairstyle is actually these little tendrils up front. And the way that they executed this is that they're just tendrils as you would do them, but they have tinsel that's wrapped around them. If you look, you can see the little crisscross of the tinsel, and then it's just secured at the bottom with a rubber band, and there is gel to keep the shape a little bit, but it's mostly being held together by the tinsel, and I think that's so cool. I think this is my favorite outfit that Mermaids has ever done. It's so beautiful. So it's this tiny little dress that at like the waist it flares out and has a little opening and it does hit true center mine is just the stand is interacting with it weird so yeah it shows a little belly button and i love the fur trim on it i love this iridescent fabric it is slightly see-through down here but at the 
at the top it is lined so you can't see through it and it has these little vinyl pieces on the skirt one of the tiers of the skirt and you can also see it up here and it actually has these really cool like sequin dots of holographic on it it's so gorgeous and then she also has matching gloves now i'm being 100 percent serious right now i have over a thousand dolls probably closer to two thousand dolls and you know some of them come with gloves i have never seen doll gloves that weren't painted on that were executed better than this i'm in shock that more doll companies haven't used this type of fabric for gloves before because it looks so much better than the alternative so they are still mitten gloves but the thumb is separate and because they're see-through and a thin fabric it actually it fits right like it doesn't look bizarre i love it it looks so good and i love the fur up here too just amazing amazing and these dolls actually do have painted nails so she has red painted fingernails which funny enough actually relates to the accessories that we're going to look at next Gwen comes with a bunch of accessories. I was so surprised to see that they came with so many extra accessories. So for starters, they have an extra coat. Even though most of them are already wearing long sleeves, they included coats for each of them, which is really cool. And this is out of a super soft faux fur material. I love it. Beautiful. I'm so excited about this piece for mixing and matching and for my mermaid's dolls. And then her glasses have like little flowers on them, I think in white, it almost looks like snow, and they're see-through, you can see my finger through here, in a blue color, really, really pretty. She has a shell phone, and she is texting Nira currently. It says, let's make a splash in something else that I can't read there, and then Nira says, faux show, love that. Super cute. Look at that. I love this. I'm so excited that MGA is going back to their roots here and including a bunch of extra accessories with the dolls like Bratz used to do. Um, she comes with a little mascara, very cute, and there's a little Mermaid's M up top. I love that these all open. And then there's a Mermaid's M up top, and here it has a slight glitter to it, and then this is definitely the nail polish that she used because it is red, just like her nails. So cool. I love these accessories. I'm so excited. Okay, and then she also has lip gloss, and this does not quite match her lip color that she's currently wearing, but that's okay. It's like a light pink shimmer. And then, oh, that's her lipstick. That's the color. Here it's pink, which doesn't, oh, look. The mold of the M on the lid. That is so cool. That definitely matches her lip color. Oh, I love that. It's realistic. Like this was truly the makeup she used to get ready. And then she also comes with a cup. Each of them comes with a cup, which is so cool. And it's sparkly. It's casted in sparkly plastic. The accessories are very impressive to me. And while we're here, let's also look at her bag. So I love the little plastic bow on it. And it's flocked in... This isn't my favorite fur material, but it's very cute. Like, it looks really cute. It looks like this on the bag would have been very bulky. So this material made more sense. And I believe it's just flocking. So it's glued on little tiny hairs. And then the strap is pearls. Super cute. This is what Gwen looks like with her coat on. It's very cute, and I forgot to point out the necklace due guys specifically. It's just a bunch of icicles. Super cute, and I love that it's casted in transparent plastic, well, semi-transparent plastic. And the coat is super cute on. I think it looks really good with the overall outfit, and I love that the trim is brought back. Um, and I didn't put it on with the gloves. You can, like I did at first, but I thought it looked a little silly with the gloves coming out of the coat, so I took them off. And the hand mold, interestingly enough, is different. So the originals did not have painted nails, but they also had this hand mold. I really liked this, so I wonder why they switched it. Probably just for her gloves, to be honest, because um, having the little pinky finger up would not have been good for that. But yeah, they totally changed it, which is interesting. And the originals, of course, did not have nail polish. This was very surprising. These dolls actually come with stands now. The stands are super tall since um, you can do poses like this with the tail out like that, or I could have it facing forward like she would stand normally um so there's a lot of room to adjust on this stand and the stand stays together pretty nicely it has the mermaid's m here and it's got i believe it's sprayed glitter no it's not it just has a different texture here than here and then if we look it comes with three stand clips so it I knocked over some accessories it comes with one that's a little bit wider and one that's a little bit smaller. So this one is for when their bellies are out like that. And this one's for when the jackets are on. And it comes with two of the larger ones. How cool is that? 
I'm so excited about that. With um, dolls like Monster High who came with small stand clips like this, it was kind of frustrating because if you lost the stand clip, the whole stand was useless and there was nowhere that you could get more stand clips. Maybe Mattel sold them on their website, but even then that wasn't super well known. So it's really cool that now they come with stands and they came with the extra clips like that. I think that's awesome. The tail is super cool. Unfortunately, they still can't sit, so I'm very curious about the mermaid car. Stay tuned for another review to see the mermaid car. But these can actually sit less than the original ones. But I do appreciate that when they were packaged, they didn't have that big tie that was really hard to remove. So, I mean, that's a bonus. And they do still have all of the articulation from the Series 1 dolls. This is what the tail looks like. It's really nice. It has details that are painted on top, but then also has details inside of the tail. And I really like it. There's a very subtle glitter that comes down from here to make it look like it's falling. And this was unintentional, but some of the sparkles are actually stuck in the seam. And I, I like that. I like that. You can see them. And then some of them, these ones are glued on the surface of the tail so that they stay where they are. So if you're standing your doll, it doesn't all just collect at the bottom. This is really cool. And it is pretty sturdy too. Like I've tried pulling on it and stuff. It doesn't budge. I would worry uh, this doll is going to be a little bit more delicate than the other dolls because if you broke this, that would be an issue. But it's not like, it doesn't feel like a hollow plastic at all. It's super thick. So I don't foresee this breaking. If you've ever had a Novi Stars doll that has this, like Universe, um, Universe feels a little bit more flimsy than this, but I've never actually seen a Universe doll break. So I don't know. Also made by MGA, by the way. And the tails, so they can't stand on their tail anymore. Like, if I try to stand her, she just falls right over. Um, so that's why they come with the stands now. They probably didn't like that they were restricted before. And the tail's super cool. It's this big piece. And I love the silver wraps all over it. It looks like a little storm going on and the glitter all over. Absolutely beautiful. And then I can, like, peel at this and nothing comes off of it. So I think they've fixed the color change problem from dolls like Harmonique where the paint could chip off and then you lose not only the color of the tail but you also lose the color change feature. It seems like they've fixed that as well and I will put that to the test later on when we do the color change part of this review and let you know. So now we have looked at Gwen so let's bring over Kishiko. This is what Kishiko looks like out of the box. I'm super impressed with her. I'm really curious about her hair and her outfit. Although this could be a new character for anybody doing any kind of pretend play or something, I do think she retains enough of herness to get away with saying like, yeah, that's Kishiko again. I appreciate that. I think she's super, super beautiful. I am sad though because she lost her Yaki Fiber hair. So this is Yaki Fiber and it's really, really soft and beautiful. And I do love Nylon as well, but I do wish that she still had the Yaki Fiber hair, but now she has metallic nylon. The new Kishiko's hair is so gorgeous. It's definitely like a unicorn vibe and it's very densely rooted too. I would say it's more densely rooted than Gwen's, but it does have some gaps, but it's similar to a rainbow high doll again. A well-rooted rainbow high doll will have gaps like that too. I really love the color mix as well. It's very impressive how many colors they used. I think it's super, super beautiful. You can see that she has some French braids up top that work into a ponytail. You can see it's actually three ponytails back here. So two of the ponytails are coming off of one ponytail from the braids. And then this is just a separate one back here. And the rest of her hair is just down. I do worry about that for play with this doll since the other dolls do have their hair pretty well bound so that you don't have to worry about any it getting too messy. This doll will probably get messier. So if, if you do plan to buy these dolls to put them in water, this one's probably not the best choice. And she also has tinsel. I personally love tinsel. I have no problem with tinsel, but loose tinsel like this might become quite tangled and you also cannot get the hair hot at all. So I hope that her color change feature is cold. I assume it is because this is winter waves, but it's really, really cool. And then if you don't like tinsel and you wanted to remove it, it would be super easy to do. All you have to do is boil her hair and it will come right out. Um, and it's all in one row there. And there's hair in all of those plugs too, so you wouldn't be like giving her a giant bald spot and you don't have to work too hard to get it out. So that's good for those of you that hate it.
While the original Mermaids dolls had matte skin, just like Kishiko, you can see that the new ones do have that sparkly skin. I do wish Kishiko had kept her freckles though, I feel like that was an identifying feature and she no longer has them in this doll, which is a bit unfortunate in my opinion, but I still think she's a super beautiful doll. Um, I just liked her little freckles. I also have a lot of freckles, so I'm partial to them. I really love the way her colors in her hair interact with her face. I think it's quite pretty. And I love her super thick bottom lashes. Beautiful. And the makeup look is so, so cool too. I love the thick purple line up top with shimmer that goes all the way up to the brow. And you can even see the highlighter on the cheek as well. And she also has some highlight on her nose in a little triangle shape, which is really interesting. And her lips are a very bright bubblegum pink. She's really, really cool. Now we're going to look at her jewelry. So you can see that she has plated earrings that are a bow with stars dangling. I really, really like that look. And I really like the metallic look with her too, since she has this metallic top on. And then she has this chain necklace. It's just a plastic chain that's painted. There is a silver star on it that is attached. But then there's this flocked heart in purple that you can actually remove if you so chose and it's a totally separate piece so it dangles realistically I really love that I think that's so cool I love that mermaids has been doing that like it's just like the original Kishiko's earrings which have these dangling stones on them that you could actually remove so cool you could probably put that on there this doll is very interesting too because not only does she come with an extra jacket, which we're going to look at on her in a little bit, she actually has this really cute little cropped hoodie shrug thing. So it is a separate piece from the crop top and it's like an overbust hoodie. It's so cute and I love the way they did the hood. It's gorgeous and it's big enough that the doll can actually wear it. You would have to pull the hair through here, which I am not going to do, but it's pretty cool. I just, I really, I think it's awesome that they included multiple jackets because again, she already has sleeves on and um, similar to how I felt about this doll's outfit, this hoodie piece is one of my all-time favorite doll accessories I've ever seen. It even has working drawstrings, like it's so cool. I love the poofy sleeves that are gathered in so that they are tight around the wrists. Really, really cool. The working drawstring just blew me away. And then her top is just a little crop top and it's silver with holographic little dots in it. Really nice. And then her hands are not covered by gloves so we can see that she has blue nail polish. All of these dolls come with a bunch of extra accessories. Here are Kishiko's, but she also has this bag which has a removable strap, which is super cool because it's also a clutch, so you can use it either way. It doesn't seem like it opens. Yeah, this is not a bag that can open. It doesn't have a hinge or anything, but that's okay. I really like it. So it has this really nice metallic paint on it and then a matte black radio design painted on. And the chain that is removable is silver and it's actually super easily removable, but to me, it stays on quite well. With one of the other bags that we'll get into, it doesn't stay on quite well, but this one's actually really nice. And then we have all of her little accessories. So you can see that she does have blue nail polish. I love that MGA is paying attention to like what the dolls actually have as their makeup and they're coming with stuff that matches. And then she has lip gloss, which is a transparent pink glitter, probably semi-transparent. We have her lipstick, which matches her lips again. That's amazing. I just, I love these. I love them. They're so cute little cosmetics and you can use them for all your other dolls too in this scale. They are a little bit big for the scale, but it's because dolls have bigger heads and hands. So it makes sense when you think about it that way. And then this is her little mascara. It'd be so cool if one of these had had white mascara and then they, they included like white mascara accessory. That'd be so much fun. Oh, this only closes a certain way. So pay attention to that. She has a little unicorn mug, which is very nicely painted. I love these little cups. And then, oh, she is on bubble. And I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Um, but it's showing how to pose as a mermaid. Which is quite interesting. It's saying, like, look, show the fin. This is really interesting. Oh, what time is it? What time is it, Kishiko? It's 12.15. Hopefully that's 12.15 as in noon. <laughs> And she's connected to Wi-Fi. Oh, I love this. So it's interesting that Gwen kind of came with a 
more antiquated phone while Kishiko seems to have like an iPhone. And the back of the phone has three cameras and a little shell molded on. And you, even the buttons on the side, so cool. So cool. And again, this could be used for any of your 12 inch dolls. Barbie, it might look a little big on because Barbie has a small head. Kishiko's coat is so interesting. It's made out of a holographic vinyl type fabric. It's very beautiful. It has pink fur and it's that same super soft faux fur that the other doll had. Actually, all the dolls have it. I see that Nira has it. I just, I love this material. So nice. And you can see that the other side of the material is actually not blue. So it has a really cool effect inside. And these are actually working little buckles. So cool. And it looks like it's going to be kind of a turtleneck effect. We'll see. Really cool. All right, let's put it on her and then take a look at her tail. This is what her tail looks like. The jacket is actually too long, so if I put it on, it would cover a bit of the tail, and I wanted to show it to you. So she actually has a bunch of cool hardware and little pearls and hanging things off of her belt that is around her tail, and all of the details continue onto the back, including the painted details, which are these little belt loops, I guess? And there's pockets that are frozen, molded on to the back of her tail which is really, really cool. And then she has a liquid-filled tail as well, so you can see the glitter move around. And there's a little bubble inside, and I believe the bubble is just to help the glitter move around a little. Um, you can see it move as I move the tail around. Hers is a bit simpler on the outside than Gwen's, but that's not a bad thing. I love this paint that's like a gradient into the transparent. I think that's super cool. Love these tails. I really like the stars. I'm partial to these stars because they're that really gorgeous opalescent material. And then her tail is super loose. I don't know if that's just mine, but it's it's a seashell shape. And yeah. It's very different from Gwen's because Gwen's was like a big cup shape while this is just a flat thing again. But she can't stand on this anymore. And I think that's because they wanted to add more range of motion to the tail when you switch it around. Beautiful. All right, now let's put the jacket on. An alternative way to display your dolls on the stands is that you can put the waist clip, this is the wider version, you can put it around the tail. So I had to do that because I wanted to be able to show you the coat in all of its glory. <laughs> and um, the stand would make it look really weird. You can do it. I love this. If you put the head in certain positions, you can actually make it cover her mouth. It's so pretty. And you can have these open too to have a more open look, but I wanted to show them buckled. They're pretty easy to use, but be careful with them because when you pull them, they do stretch. This is just so pretty. I love this coat. It's so different. It's so outside of the box. Really, really beautiful. And that's what it looks like on the doll. Our last doll for review is Nira, and Nira is super cool. She has an edgy look to her, and I think she's really, really well polished. I think her design is super cool. Starting up top, her hair is in these really nice wraparound pigtails, and at the end of the wraparound, they actually gelled these into little curly horns, which is so, so cool. And the pigtails are super, super full, but let's take a look at the actual rooting pattern beneath to kind of see how it's looking all right so it's not rooted in rows like normal it looks like it's pretty well rooted but it's just in spots all over and she has a middle part all the way around to the back and let me show you so you can see it's a really nice rooting pattern actually I wasn't expecting that because she does have these high pigtails and that's usually um a good reason for doll companies to kind of skimp out on that and she does have some tinsel not a lot. You can see a few tinsel pieces. I really like her hair. It's this beautiful dark indigo color or like a navy blue. And she has this little braid coming out of her part line. Right out of the box, it trends this way, but you could probably push it the other way if you really wanted to. And it's a really nice flat braid. It goes all the way down. Absolutely gorgeous. Nira has these purple eyes that have a brown outline, so they look brown. They're very pretty. I love the eyebrows. That's probably my favorite makeup thing of any of these dolls with the little glitter line. And I love the inner corners being filled in with glitter and the silver eyeshadow with the brown eyeshadow up top. And then her lip color is really nice too. Her lips look super juicy. It's really beautiful. Her earrings are also metallic plated with little spikes. They're hoops with spikes and then a large spike that's definitely stabbing her shoulder right now. 
it's really interesting. By the way, I wanted to point this out somewhere. Their hair is super heavy, so a lot of them will kind of have a looser neck. You can position it the way that you want to. With um, Gwen and Nira, I'm not really having a problem, but with Kishiko, it does tend to lean in one direction. I thought I would point that out because that's a possible um, quality issue that people might be worried about, so just thought I'd let you know. You can see that they do still have the painted on bikini tops underneath, which I will show you later in this review. Um, but hers is part of the design of her actual outfit because it is a netted outfit, so you can actually see the top underneath. I love that. It looks so good. And I think this little choker with pink studs and little chains hanging down is adorable. And then she also has a clutch bag that is convertible. These come off really easily. I think that these are just thinner than on the other one, but it's really cool. I like that this kind of looks like brass knuckles. Was that the intention? Um, and it's all spiked all over. So cool. And the sleeves are my favorite outfit piece of this doll, probably. Check those out with the little holes. So cool. And her, her skin is super shimmery. They all have super shimmery skin on their bodies. It's beautiful. Love it. And the, the edges are done with pink serging. And I like how serge stuff looks when you finish edges with just um, serging like that instead of doing a serger line and then hemming it. I don't know how to describe that, but this is called a serge, if you were wondering. It's done on a serger. <laughs> I also really like the little halter to this top. It's really nice. I wanted to show this here. So Nira's coat comes with a belt. So she actually has two extra accessories, two extra clothing type accessories. So her belt is made out of a fine leaf fabric that has a scale print embossed on it. Not print, I'm sorry, but like a scale texture embossed on it. And then these actual little, they're not real pearls obviously, but little plastic pearl bead things that hang down. This is a really, really cool accessory. And I just wanted to show what it looked like without being on the coat itself, but the coat itself is a split pink and purple. Again, it has like an indigo to it. I don't know if you guys can tell in person. And then an opalescent collar made out of that same scale embossed material and the same really nice faux fur that the others are made out of, which I love. I think that this accessory honestly would look better on Gwen, so I might actually give it to her in the long run, but for this review, we'll leave it on Nira. Are these separate? <gasps> They are not. So these are actually sewn together, just so you guys know. So when I put the coat on, I will be leaving the sleeves on for this one. Also, she has navy blue painted nails, if you were wondering. They might be black. I can't. I guess they're black. It's hard to tell sometimes. First, let's take a look at her tail. So her tail is very simple compared to the other two. They all have pretty simple tails compared to a lot of mermaids dolls, but um, it's pretty simple. So it has a little silver heart. And the belt is really well molded. Like, I actually thought that this was a separate accessory because the sculpt is that good. And it's just a little studded belt. And undetailed on the back other than the studded belt. Really like it. And there is a little hanging purple that goes around to the side. Purple strap. And then let's sit her back under here. So there is a gradient white paint with glitter on top of it to make it look like snow. This really looks like snow, actually. It's beautiful. And then the bottom has glitter on top of the color change paint very very pretty really like this one and her tail is just icicles really cool icicle design and the stars inside of her tail are black and silver so you can well there's silver glitter and black stars so you can move them around and the stars actually bounce a really nice like oil slick holographic it's very pretty I think she has my favorite tail from the three that I have here, but I'm not sure yet. Also, hers, again, is very loose, but she can actually stand on hers if you really play a balancing act with her, but um, she does come with a stand suit. Yeah, so she's standing just fine on her own now. Not leaning on this, I swear. Move it, but yeah, pretty cool. This is what Nira's coat looks like on her. Hers is definitely very simple. Obviously not as simple as Gwen's, but it's pretty simple when I look at it compared to Kishiko's, but I really like it. I love the split color thing. I think it looks super good. And I like that it does cover more than the sleeves because if the sleeves were kind of hanging out, it would look kind of weird. So I appreciate that they're still hidden. And God, I love this one. This doll is absolutely spectacular. And she also comes with, I wanted to show you this real quick and then we'll get into the accessories. She comes with a second purse. So this dog has two purses inexplicably. I guess it's because it, she doesn't have the sunglasses, but she does have that extra belt piece, which, by the way, let's put it on the coat while we're here. So just attaches with Velcro, basically. Just And this is how you can make the coat look closed. 
I wish that Kishiko had some way to make her coat look closed. You can on the top, obviously, but not on the bottom, so it just kind of hangs open, but that was what they were going for. But yeah, this is what the little bead belt thing looks like. I like it. Okay, let's make her uh, arms look a little cuter. There we go. Very cute. And her bag also has removable straps, which I love, and there's this like really nice pearly, slightly iridescent and slightly transparent material, and then her bag is made out of a slightly it's it's like slightly transparent you can see light through it and it's really cool it says mrmd it looks like a little top of a suit or a jacket really really cool really like this bag design and now let's take a look at the accessories nira's accessories are a little bit different as well so she doesn't come with a lipstick she just comes with three different nail polishes so she has a purple nail polish I really love that they even applied the paint color. And I guess she doesn't really have black nail polish. Yellow nail polish, which is a bold choice to come with Nira specifically. I don't feel like she would wear nail yellow nail polish, but I don't know. I don't know her that well. And then blue. The blue is my favorite. And her mascara. Ooh. I guess the wand's a little bit flexible. The cup, which hers is just a cup. But maybe that's more to her style. I really, really love that all of them have separate sculpts for the cups. And then her iPhone is, er, it is not an iPhone. And she's looking at Insta Shell. She's looking at Harmonique's Instagram. And there's a group picture of everybody on it. And she's got like a Blackberry keyboard. I do appreciate that they gave them all different phones. Little heart here. She does not have a seashell motif. Very cute. And here's everybody all together absolutely gorgeous and we will be doing our final thoughts after i swim with them and spend more time with them all right my friends we have arrived at the color change showcase so let's check it out so here is nira's tail before let's put it in the ice water they all do a cold color change which makes sense and after so she gets a half and half tail on the packaging i really thought it was depicting like oh this is normal and then this is cold but no it was saying like literally gets a half and half it's really interesting it adds to her kind of like rocker vibe that she has going on very cool Alrighty. next doll is kishiko because she's gonna be easier to do than gwen so let's see Ooh, hers turns blue oh that's pretty it's so opalescent it matches really well with the glitter inside of her tail actually super cool and then her tail is pretty transparent so the color change does actually look like it goes to both sides even though it doesn't um, if you guys didn't know, the color change only applies to one side, but because these are transparent, it kind of looks like they're doing both, which is pretty cool. And then our last doll is a bit complicated because Gwen has a really circular tail, but you just have to dip it like this. And look at, I also got her hair wet. Look at that. So hers turns pink. And again, it only works on one side. I'll show you. See, just on the side. Very cool. All right, you guys, it's time for my final thoughts. So I've spent two full days with these dolls, swimming with them, taking pictures of them, taking videos of them, and everything in between. And I am completely in love with them. They have definitely improved the quality in so many ways from series one. Series one is really fantastic, but I really think Winter Waves has elevated more than I expected them to. I feel like they are more worth the price. These do retail for around $40 each in the US, which is again, quite a high price, but with these, I can actually see the value. Um, first of all, they have a really cool gimmick in their tails, which is very fun. They've fixed some of the weirdness, like now they come with stands, which is great. I love all the extra accessories, the giant fancy coats. Some of them even come with two purses. They're really incredible. And after swimming with these for hours, I have to say, the hair holds up. It's a bit messy. It just needs to be brushed, but that's easy. But even Kishiko, I expected Kishiko not to be able to withstand the swimming. And this is the craziest part to me. I was expecting Nira's horns to go away, but they're still there and they're still fully gelled. So that's awesome because I was fully expecting them to be gone. Um, and same with her little tinsel spindles in the front. They are still in perfect condition other than I messed this up while I was unboxing her this part. And it looks like it's stuck in her little twist. Um, yeah, so I messed that up earlier, but... Yeah, pretty cool. Everything stayed. And they're still slightly wet right now, too, so the fact that all of their little gelled parts are still looking the way you'd expect them to is amazing. I really appreciate, too, that a lot of them 
like Gwen and Nira, their hair is fully tied up, so swimming around with them didn't really impact them at all. Their hair is still perfect. That's awesome. And Kishiko, again, I'm very impressed that her hair stayed nice. I was gonna braid it for the for the swimming portion, but I figured that, that would be disingenuous. I wanted to show how the hair actually looks after swimming, and it definitely is a lot better than Riviera and Harmonix did in my first review. And these dolls, I was really happy to see that they kind of corrected this. In the other ones, it just said, don't get them wet. But here it says, avoid submerging them in water, but if you do, the hair will not appear the same. Mine actually did, and they were in a chlorinated pool, which unfortunately means that I have to wash them off a lot more, um, possibly with soap, so we might actually lose the gel after that, but if these would fully work as bath toys. Like, I'm impressed. And before you mention the hair in these being bath toys, because yes, that would be a problem. Um, my favorite bath toy as a kid was the Mermaid Fantasy Barbie, who has Kanekalon hair, which is a lot worse in water than nylon. So I think these would actually be pretty suitable. Um, a few issues that I have, they have pretty loose head joints. I think it's actually just that they have really heavy hair, um, but maybe strengthening that joint and making them be able to sit. All of my problems from the first set, almost all of them, seem to have been either corrected or worked around in some way. The quality has definitely elevated. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. I cannot wait to get the rest of this line. I'm very, very happy with them. And I really hope that Mermaids gets to continue into the future because I think they have a lot of really good ideas. They're definitely willing to put budget into these dolls, quality into these dolls, and I love it. I love it. I know these aren't for everybody. Some, a lot of people don't like the inset eyes or they're not a big fan of just mermaid dolls in general, but that's my thing. I love mermaids. I love mermaid dolls. And these are just breathtaking. Also, I wanted to point out that the glitter, this might just be me being crazy, but I think after submerging them in water, the face glitter, especially on Gwen, appears to be gone. Also, if you guys noticed in the footage, Gwen actually had a wonky eye that I fixed. Um, so that's something to look out for too. Um, my sample doll did have a wonky eye. She still kind of does. You can see the white under her eye, under her eye here, but not here. Um, but I took her eye out and put it back and kind of repositioned it. Now it looks a lot better. Um, if you guys would like to see an eye swapping video, let me know, by the way, because I really want to give Gwen brown eyes. I feel like she would look a lot better with brown eyes, um, like she has on the box. I assume they just switched that at some point during the process. These are so pretty. I'm so happy with them. And I'm really curious to know what you guys think. And now let's check out first. I know you're like, this is the final thoughts. Why isn't the video over? Swimming footage is coming at the end of this video. And I wanted to show you all of their swim tops underneath their outfits. Well, I'm glad I decided to do this because she actually has way sparklier skin than the other two. The other two just have some like shimmer. Hers is kind of a iridescent shimmer, but she just has full on caked on hard glitter. It's pretty cool. Um, and on her arms, but it is sealed in, so it's not coming off. And then her outfit is also a two-piece. I did not know that. So this actually comes off of the little baby doll thing, whatever you would call this. Pretty cool. Uh, so you can see the differences in their little swimsuit tops or bras that they're wearing, which is super cute. And I love that joint that they have there. I it's so cool.